angry hand level? Yeah, of course. I don't want to get banned. Are we going to say Yoni? I could take D-Shield and try to just play a farm lane. Yoni's definitely going to be a bit of a counter matchup. Yoni's 100% going to be a bit of a counter matchup. You don't know if you trust that? Of course. <laughs> what, it worked for Riot? So cool of Deepar to donate to a low elo streamer. Dude, it's my first game. Of course I'm sober. Don't call me low elo. Nah, my chat's actually just cooking me. What the hell? Okay. Good chat. I have something for you guys to help me out with. As I mentioned before, if you're just coming in right now, every game I lose lane, I'll give five subs. But you guys have to help me determine if I lose lane or not. Now, losing lane doesn't mean if I get ganked to Tower Dome Perma and obviously I can't do anything. I don't count that as losing lane. Losing lane means that the enemy top laner is outperforming me. Whether he's doing more in fights, whether he's doing more in lane, whether he's just doing more overall, then that counts as a losing lane. So, even if I win, I could lose lane. And even if I lose, I could win lane, right? So. d gave me how many bits? Bro, he just gave me 50k bits. You know how much that is? That's a lot. Alright, let's win this game. I'm gonna pop off this game for d -fire. Give the sub per kill this game, don't disappoint. Yo! Alright, I got you, I got you. I'm gonna go for a, a quick Q trade. I'm dragging the minions over towards my side to make him like tank more. Okay, I'm just gonna try and deny him CS here. Nice, got the kill. Not bad. Yeah, as soon as he walks up for the CS there, I can just deny him, and now I'm just gonna hold the wave. You notice how, at this point of the game, this wave has a lot of low minions. If I just deny him XP, he's not gonna be able to play the game. Yep. Nice. The hit time's pretty good. Line. No, deep fire needs to give us up. Alright. I'm gonna get W second for trading. He actually held on to his CP, so I'm gonna have a really big advantage on him. Thanks so much, deep fire. Okay, just gotta dodge that Q. When you have a big wave like this, it's not bad to let him like poke you and get like a, a little trade on you because all the minions will focus on him. See like, oh no, that was a W poke. I'm gonna shove this in for right now because I can get like a bit of a cheater recall if I hard shove this wave. No, I don't need to use my TP. He didn't use his, so we both have our TP. And right now I'm just trading to get orbs as well. Make sure I dodge that. He's only really poking me with his W. Ideally, you want to reset on cannon wave, so I'm probably gonna look to do that soon. I do want to shove this wave in, though. I'm gonna use my E just for sustain. It's good to use your E for sustain every now and then in lane. I'll see my people to solo kill him one more time. He's gonna come back. Got him. Nice. Now he's probably gonna use his CP, so this is the perfect time to reset. I'm gonna go Eclipse first item, because Eclipse is really good for trading in lane. Eclipse and boots. It's not mandatory to get tier if you have friends of mine and you're winning trades like this. Okay. Great catch up, whatever. Yo, DeFi, thanks for another gift sub, my boy. Gifting sub per kill. Let's go! DeFi, my goat. I love you, buddy. Now we gotta hold on to our TP and we can kind of look for like a global play at some point. Like let's say cover a tower dive or whatnot. Cause I don't have the unleashed teleport yet. It comes later in the game. Six more minutes. All right. Honestly, I can just, I can hold this wave here. That way he doesn't get to uh, what do we call it? See us and play the game as much as he wants. Okay, getting a uh, sense. He has no flash, so we can just kill him. Wait for the CC and then I use my W. He's gonna get one more Q here. Why not? Nice. And Volley even let me get the kill there. See, a lot of people would think the smartest thing right now to do would be hold the freeze. And I have to agree with that. I think hold the freeze is nice. But I'm also going to look to thin the wave a little. I'm not going to hold too aggressive of a freeze. That. Because I do still want to be able to trade him. And if I can, like, build up a wave before I hit 6, I can crash it in and dive him. Because your ult makes it very easy to dive, champs. It's one of uh, Kane's main strengths. Alright. 
So, after uh, next couple waves, I'll be able to build a ginormous wave. Just be able to dive them. A lot of people only like to like freeze. But, uh. I just hold, stay inside of him as long as I can here. I just kill him. Yeah, and I can just shove this wave in all the way. Not bad. Oh, I hold on to TP again. Get a pickaxe. I have to make sure this crashes in though. No, it's not going to. I'll shove in one more. The good thing about Kane is that you have really, really fast. By the way, A deep fire. Thanks for giving subs again. Doesn't matter that I missed a couple CS along the wave is crashing. Thank you for the two gifters again, my boy. Okay. He gets that wave. That's fine. I don't mind. Holds my TP. Alright. Going top. I play anything other than Kane. Uh, for top lane, I'm gonna be playing like Pantheon and Kennen as my secondaries. But for jungle, yeah, I play every pretty much every jungle that you can think of. Like Kha'Zix, Zac, Vi, Graves, Hecarim, um, Zyra recently, Zed, um, pretty much any jungle you can think of. Anyone else hearing the echo in T1's voice today? Wait, is it echoing? Oh, I gotta, I gotta fix that. I think there's a way for me to fix it, don't worry. It requires some mad Scientology, but I got you. Okay. Ow. Fix it after getting. Yeah, this guy's just eating way too much of a trade. He does have a splash now. It's always important to keep like flash timers. A little trade. See, moistening them up before the uh, dive here. I'm gonna wait out his W. Make sure I insta ult, and now I can just get out like that. Sweet. Because that stops you from taking the tower aggro. And now when I reset, I'm going to have my form. Okay, sweet. Good. Bad. Yeah, one more player. Thank you, Fire. Thanks for giving yourself. Don't worry, boys. I'll, I'll fix that. <laughs> I could probably TP back to late and just look to kill him again. Alright, we got four. Should be able to just go crazy on this guy now. He went first out of Bramble Vest, so he's gonna be able to stop a lot of my sustain. So we're gonna play more through the shield. Always try and keep track of like your uh, clip CD. I think that's very important. Just cancel his uh, Q. You can tell he's got a Q on me. Just from the way that he's been playing all game. A lot of him uses ulti. Yeah, a lot of people would think like right here it's smart to freeze the wave again, but actually I want to keep him in lane. I want to like uh, force the shove in, and then he'll like be more inclined to stay. If he doesn't, he just gets denied, or he'll waste his TP, waste his sum. Enemy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep getting plates. Enemy. Is the offer when you lose a lane up? For the entire grind, or just a certain rank? Uh, I'm just gonna do it like day by day, and then I'll probably stop doing it when I'm in higher elo, when I actually consistently lose lane. Cause yeah, when I'm in higher elo, I'm gonna have a lot to, to learn. Okay, so I'm gonna like, just slowly take this here. I just gotta stay inside of him as long as I can, cause my ult will boss around the same time as his uh, knock up. Uh, okay, that's fine. At this point in the game, I should look to uh, move around the map. A little bit more proactive. So, second item, I'm gonna wanna be able to play like 1v2 in the sideline, kind of. Oh. So, I'll probably look to like just rotate the map and make a lot of global plays. Get boots. I think an item like Cleaver would be really good. I like, I love Cleaver. HP is really, really good stat on Kane. I can mute the pings. I always mute pings on my, on my other account. I mean, the pings is like giving me PTSD. 
Yeah, I'm not actually gonna be able to fight in the top or bot, so I think I'm just gonna go back. I mean, mid or bot. All right, I can just play for the top side objective. Look at bots stay. They're shoved in. They're gonna reset. Then mid is shoved in as well. Maybe to Sterics. Ah, uh, maybe Sterics. In a lot of shields, it's not bad, but I think I also want to get a lot of damage. So I might go Cleaver to Shojin. Cleaver Shojin is really good for uh, damage. And yeah, sometimes I'll get like a tier, like a mana item, but this game I opted not to just because I have Presence of Mind and it's a it's a melee matchup. So against a melee matchup, I'm able to proc my Presence of Mind a lot and maintain mana from that. It's kind of nice to just have the free mana, but eh, it's whatever. So yeah, at this point, I think honestly what I could do, because we're getting so many grubs, a lot of people would actually think rotating around the map is the right play, and I literally just said it was. But I think if you're actually getting like six grubs, you could look to just play in your lane and just hit tower after tower. I'll try to rotate here. Okay, we're gonna wait for this guy's Q, maybe. Nice. Wait, let me fix my hotkey. There you go. I always like to put my ward, my control ward on T. Forgot I'd do that. How come Tabby's over Mercs this game? Because I'm mostly just playing for lane. I'm not playing a team fight. When you're playing solo lane, it's kind of nice to just look to be able to 1v2 in the solo lane. Alright. Not bad. Oh yeah, I'm running a little bit low on mana, but... Okay. I'm gonna keep shoving in. There you go. So he's dodging those uh, bullies. You want to save as much HP as you can. You gotta go for the uh, cannon here. As soon as I, w I wait for his ult, as soon as he uses it, I just do that. I can just walk out. No, I have this blue orb watching for me. I should just be able to shove the wave in here and take the tower again. And getting tier 2 tower this early on is really good. I, I feel like I don't even need to explain why. You can see grubs are really OP. Having a jungler that can get grubs for you is really nice. We're quite the heavy duty game set up for us here. We're gonna get Cleaver and then we're just gonna focus on survivability so I think Death's Dance is gonna be good. Getting uh, Frozen Art would be really nice as well actually. I might go Frozen Art right now. Or not into their team overall, just amazing, because KOM, F, Yoni. And then, yeah, it'll help me uh, stay alive. So right now, I'm just gonna hardly to rotate. Because I do want to get the shutdowns off the map. That'd be good. KO and Lily are overstanding a lot. Frozen hard, there's nuts here. So give me a little bit of extra mana as well. There's a big shutdown right here. She ran all the way back, that's smart of her. She just ran all the way home. By the way, I'm back. Mine, I did fight. Fire 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 Thank you, my boy. Yeah, this is a big wave in top lane there, but it's fine. She has ult, but no flash. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, she's gonna stay here and die. Nice. Oh, I missed my W. I'm trolling. Oh, she flash. All right. Fine. Should have went Moby Boots and killed everyone. Honestly, that would be a bad idea. If all gets the way, nice. Okay, how about? You can deep fire for another gift sub. I gotta make sure I'm shoving out top before I rotate from now on. There you go, shoved it out. I think if I TP there, I might actually die. Kind of risky of a TP to look for. You can definitely look to fight this though. In volley. Hello there, Lilia. Nice. In Baron Boots. Oh yeah, Baron Boots. Good assist. Yeah, thanks for the bits. 100 bits on the assist as well. Crazy. Uh... 
Earth mine? Like a fire water. water. Alright, she's gonna go this way. Might be able to catch her. Here's our ult there too. Nice. Huge. Oh! The Eclipse came through. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, this mine, win this game. Very good. And yeah, being able to kind of make that global impact because you're such a strong team fighter is very nice. And yeah, now we get Frozen Art. I think it's a good option here. Okay. And yeah, I'll probably look to get a... Oh, I'll see I can go to MR item too. What I heard. I'm holding on to my TP. Oh, I could play more in the, uh... What do I call it? Soul lane. Yeah, I'll fix the... I'll fix the sub alert echoing after. Don't worry, guys. I'll fix it. Don't worry. It's a fresh mark out. Yeah, this is my first game. Good. I'd like to challenger K top only. The thing I love about red kids, you can actually just engage on the tanks. Nice. Oh my god, you just do so much damage too. And yeah, see, I just have so much sustain. Especially with Frozen Heart. Everything. Our CS is pretty bad, but. I honestly prioritize just making global impact. Gotta make sure I'm handling all their carries. By the way, this is They've been too far. Give sub, my boy. Getting the give sub for every kill is way too kind. Kind of run here so that they kind of get baited. But yeah, they think I'm like kind of weak. Oh! Oh my god, that Seraph- that Seraphine ult was nasty! Oh! No! No! That Seraphine ult was nasty! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jesus! Dude, Red K team fighting is nasty, boys! Oh my god! Look at how much sustain and damage I have. Alright, so for them, alright, I'll probably go Maw. Maw is pretty good. Sounds good, Ma dude. What's up, D Shield? Your Sarah R's are way better. Nah, actually true. Cubic Sarah ults go nasty. They go nasty! Alright. I just TP bot right now? Nah, I don't think so. Actually, maybe I will. Why not? Oh, I'll see I'll zoom to the veteran's gonna ulti immediately, but did he knock me up? He went to slap me again. I think Yoni's a little bit tilted, and I can't blame him. Honestly. Kane top is pretty oppressive to play oh, yeah, too. Thanks for three sons. Thank you. Alright, I'm just gonna knock on their back door here. Add another one, thank you. Alright. Brady Vloggers! Dude, this guy solo carried my sub goal today. He fires the legend, and he gave a bunch of bits. I love you, buddy. You're actually too kind to me. Okay. Yeah, the cool thing about lower elo is like, no one will actually help the person who's suffering. They should probably send three for me and just trying to like 1v3 me but not really doing any of that. No! It's okay. Not bad. Not bad. 
I get Maw. Yeah, not having Tenacity definitely is a little bit weak in team fights. The last item I probably get like Overlords, or maybe. Uh, yeah, probably Overlords. Yeah, Ignite too. Really, really blew my healing. Alright, well, not bad. Okay. Thank you, Deepfire, for three more gift throughs. Thank you, thank you. GG's! Game one. Game one. So far, good. Wait, look, Shelly's dancing. Look at Shelly go! Look at Shelly go!